this is your lifeline. Seriously. A lot of the information that you, if you want to be successful, you will use this. You'll look at it, you come in, you know, instead of sitting around with your buddies, you come in, you look over this again, okay, yeah, four keys, medium speed, water, hand position, okay, all that stuff. Look it over. If you just watch me and never look back at this, you will struggle. The people that struggle are the people that don't use the notes and they never think about what they're doing on a daily basis. They just come back here and they just kind of go through the motions. Okay? So, a couple things before I start. I got a bucket of water. The buckets are under there. Okay? Um, I got a small sponge. The tools and the sponges are in a box over there on the sink. So that's kind of your new area right now. I got a towel from under there where the towels are. We'll try to get them washed. I would bring a towel. You have your own towel. You could put it on your um, shelf and that would be you know, a lot better for you. Okay, before I start, there's a couple things about the wheel. This obviously is the gas. This is what gives me the speed. If you have it all the way forward, it's gonna be tough because fast, really fast is difficult. Once it starts wobbling, it wobbles a lot if it's faster. So we don't want it slow either, you know, like this. Some people are afraid and they go like this. You'll never be able to do anything like that either. So medium speed, I'll talk about that. Um, anybody lefty, left-handed? Okay, if you're left-handed, see this knob right here? You'll turn that to, to the front like that. The wheel will turn the opposite way. Okay, and then everything I do with the hand positions, you'll draw them the opposite. Okay, if you wanna try to do it, you know, right-handed, then just do what I'm teaching you today. So you'll have to kind of decide on your own. Um, and it would be cool if you, if you switched it back at the end of the period because someone on here might, you know, might not be left-handed. Uh, this is a bat. This needs to be on here at all times. There's a couple little like bolts under there. If this is off and you're trying to throw, you'll rip holes into your hand. There's these little things on here. You'll figure it out right away. Uh, if they are like coming up when you're squeezing the clay and the, the bat is coming up and off, you take a piece, a pinch of clay and you put it under there where the bolts are, you hit it down, you're good to go, okay? Um, you'll need a wooden rib with a point on it. So all you need every day pretty much is a bucket of water, small sponge, a wooden rib for now, okay? The, with this point on it, because when I'm done, I want to be able to scrape the clay off easy. What a lot of people do is they start scraping it with their fingers and it just takes forever, okay? Bat, splash, this is the splash guard. We're gonna leave this on, okay? In the past, we would take it off. It, it took us about another five more minutes of cleaning. We're not gonna do that. We'll just take our sponge and soak up in here and squeeze it into our bucket and then we'll uh, finish cleaning up, okay? Um, turn on switch, splash guard, bat, we're good to go. Okay, let's get basic. This here is a ball of clay, the wheel is almost exactly the same thing as the pinch method. Pinch method. Very important that you know that. Pinch, you have a ball of clay, you take your thumb, you start opening it up by pushing your thumb in. What is the pot doing while you're pushing your thumb? It's getting wider. It's getting wider, but what, what are you doing to the clay? I'm turning it with my hand. Remember when pinch? We push it in and we turn and we turn. When we pinch, we turn, we turn, we turn. What's doing the turning now? The wheel. the wheel is. So here it is, a ball of clay. I'm gonna push my finger, but it just has to be in the middle. Okay, that's the whole key, that this will have to be centered in the middle. And that's what you guys will work on for the next two days. I'll push your hands, I'll help you out. Once you get it centered, you're gonna be pretty good to go. Okay, so this is the glorified pinch pot method. As it's spinning, we'll squeeze it between our fingers. What will happen when we squeeze the clay? It's pulling it. What's going to happen to the clay? It's going to go up. Okay? If it's spinning and I hold my hand steady and I squeeze, it goes up, it goes even, and you are a wheel thrower now. Okay? All right. So what, we, what you're going to do when you start is you're going to come in, you got your two balls of clay, your bucket of water, your towel. I have these rings on the wheel. 
we want this. Tell me if you think this is going to be right. No, we want it in the center. So there's these rings that I carved into all these bats, and they're all perfect circles. What you want to do is throw this down as close to the middle as possible, but if it's not in the middle, you drag it over to the middle. Okay? So you take the clay, throw it down. If it sticks, you're good. If it doesn't, I don't know why, but some people come in, they put water on it. Then they throw it down like that, and it slides around the whole period. Okay? You, no water. Throw it down, get it to stick. Okay? Is that in the middle? No. Alright, so I'm going to take my hand, I'm going to drag the clay over like this, and I'm looking at my circles, the, the same distance from my, my uh, ball of clay to the circle, it will be in the middle. So I'm looking at it, I'm hitting it down to make sure it's in there. If you start here, you will do well. Okay? If you start where it's off, I'm, I look back all the time, people are doing it's like a Bronco or something. Dude, I just woke you up, man. It was awesome. And they're like, Miss Robin, I don't like this. I quit. Get it in the middle. It's less resistance. You'll do well. Okay? Okay. The four keys to throwing. Now, let me, let me just say, there will be a quiz. You will have a quiz next Friday on the wheel. When you guys come in every day, look up there at the bell work. See if there's anything new. For the most part, you're going to... You're going to be on the wheel centering for the next couple days. But check up there because next Friday you have a, um, a quiz on the wheel. One question would be, what are the four keys to throwing? Very easy. All right? Speed. If you go 100 miles per hour, it's going to be difficult. If you go half a mile per hour, it's going to be difficult. We want a nice medium speed. Water. What do you think the water is going to do for us being able to pull. What do you think the water? It makes it easy, but what is the water doing? Soft the clay. Hmm? Soft the clay? No, the, the clay is very soft already. It's keeping our hands from doing what? Sticking to it. Sticking to the clay. You have to use water. I, I'll look inside your splash guard, I'll know immediately that the reason you're struggling is because you have no water in here. Okay? So water is the second key. Hand positions. What I drew on the board in every day when I'm doing this today, I'm going to make you sit here and hold your hands like this today while I'm doing it because it's so important that you hold your hands, you know, in the right way. You start making things up. I have people that start going, oh, I'll do it this way, ah, like that. And, it, you know, they just, they struggle, okay? Hand positions, number three. And the last thing is pressure. You'll see, if I don't push it all on this, it's just going to stay off center the whole time. If I push hard enough, and hold my hand steady, it goes centered. Okay? If, I, if I'm coning this and I squeeze too hard, so pressure is the, uh, the fourth key, if I squeeze too hard, it rips the clay off. Anything that happens back here, when you mess up that day, every day, if you sit there and you mess something up or, or you didn't do well that day, it's one of those four things. Okay? Now the last thing, which is a, a new amended key, that I never thought of. I'm just gonna say this real quick. If you sit back here and yuck it up with your buddies the whole time and you just talk and talk and talk, I, my, my seventh grade class, all they do is they talk. They talk the whole time, this is crazy! Ah! You know, and they yell and stuff like that. Nobody has any finished bowls. First period, mostly everybody had three finished bowls. Okay? So the last key is that you need to just Think about what you're doing a little bit, okay? So let's do this. Uh, what what is the current key I'm working with now? What's the current key? Hmm? No. Speed. Okay. Get it at a nice speed. What is the key I'm working with now? Water. Water. So it goes through my hand. Now. Hand position is the third key. Look at the board. See where it says coning. That's number one. I think what I should do is write one, two, three, four. But you can see I'm working left to right and top to bottom. My arms are on my thighs like this. I'm sitting over the clay like this. I have people that sit back like this. They struggle because their arms are moving. You want your arms on your thighs for support like this. 
hands are on the side like this and you're going to squeeze for coning. I got a little bit more water, okay? I'm going to take my hands, I'm going to squeeze holding them in one spot. The clay rose up. Look, already I'm grabbing a little bit more clay. That is coning. Now, everybody hold their hands like this. This is what, you're going to be doing this tomorrow. Right hand on top or left hand on top. Yep. Right hand is on top. Left hand stays exactly where it was. What is my right hand going to do? It's going to push it down. What do you think my left hand going to do? Left hand's going to do it. It's going to make sure it doesn't get wider and wobbling. Okay? Look, more water. I push down. Pushing down. Then I push hard with my left hand. And look, my hand's not moving. I slowly take my hand off and I'm centered. Okay? What I do is I cone it a couple times. There I am again. Everybody hold their hands like this. Have your fingertips touching. You squeeze it up like that. If I would have squeezed too hard, what would happen to this clay? It would rip off. Okay? And you will do that because you haven't figured out the pressure yet. So what do I do now that it's coned? What hand position? Huh? Center. Left hand is on the side. Right hand on top. I'm going to push. Now, I push hard with my left hand. Is it centered? Is it? What? What happened? Did you see what I did? I let go really fast. You have to take your time and take your hands off slowly, okay? Do not let go fast, okay? You don't realize it, but you're, I, I don't even want to even explain it. You, everything you do, you take your hands off slowly and it will fall right into place. So watch what happens. Let's say, this is what your pot's going to look like for a couple days, okay? Now, I'm not going to cone every time that I want to center. My left hand is on the side, my right hand is on top like this. I'm going to start pushing really hard with what hand? My left. Because see how my left hand's moving? I want to push hard to get it into the middle so it's centered. So watch what I do. I start, I'm pushing with all this. And I will walk around. I'll push your hand. It really helps. Look, I'm getting more water. I'm going to start pushing with my left hand. Push hard. Now I push down a little bit. It's centered. I slowly release. I keep the wheel turning. There's no reason to really stop the wheel. I, I just keep it going so I, I see that it's centered. I get a little bit of water. We're going to do this five times. Okay? You have to be able to sit here like tomorrow and Friday and be able to center it, knock it off, center it again, knock it off, center it. If you can do that, then you're ready to open and you'll be making bowls soon, okay? Uh, the centering is, is the key to really be able to make anything because uh, I don't know if you've seen any of the bowls that have come out where people try to make a bowl that's not centered, but they're pretty wild looking, okay? Uh, every once in a while, how many people are worried about getting dirty? Anybody worried about getting stuff on their clothes? If I take my sponge and I go like this every once in a while, Usually what happens, the clay gets here, right here, and it drips on your pants right here, okay? If you wipe this off every once in a while, you will not get any clay on your clothes. The, the splash guard's here. It's not flying up. It goes, all the splash goes right here, and that's it. It will not fly up in your face. So if you, if people who are getting uh, messy are people who are careless, okay? So that is centering. So what hand position is this? Everybody hold their hands that way. Huh? Coning? Centering or like this screen. Okay. Now the left hand is going to stay here like this. And I'm going to hold my two fingers. And this, you might not be doing this for like three or four days. So we might have to revisit this. Okay. You hold your hand here. Now, should I be pushing with my left hand right now? Why? Yeah. It will go off to the side. It's centered, so I don't push anymore. I just hold my hand here. Everything I do, my hands will be touching each other for support, and my arms will be down on my legs for support. 
So watch what I do. For opening, which is down at the bottom left, I'm going to take my two fingers like this. If I just take my fingers and start pushing hard into uh, the middle, what just happened there? Is it is that circle centered? No. It's not. I just pushed really quick and it kind of messed up. Okay. What we want to do is take our two fingers and slowly press down, holding these straight. If I go back and forth like this, it's going to spiral. But I just want to go take my time. I'm actually I'm not going straight down. I'm going at an angle like this. I push down. I want to stop probably a half an inch from the bottom. And if, if you go too far, you're not going to have a bottom anymore. We want to stop about